Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are going to be swatching and I have tried on and talking all about Nikki Tutorial's collaboration with Ofra. You guys know I love Ofra products. I love their liquid lipsticks. I think they are some of the best in the game and their highlighters definitely pack a big punch. To give you guys an idea of what this set looks like, it's this right here. She has three limited edition lip products and then a little highlight wheel that really can be used for a variety of different things. I'm gonna explain that in a moment. This is what the back looks like. There's Queen Nikki right here looking absolutely flawless and glowing to the gods. That's definitely her thing. When I think of Nikki tutorials, I think of really beautiful, intense, gorgeous highlight. And I have to tell you guys, meeting her in person, I'm that weirdo that like one of the first things I look at with makeup artists and fellow YouTubers is like, I wanna see what they're doing with their makeup. I wanna see like how they've blended things and I'm always curious curious and asking questions and her makeup looked photoshopped. Like she actually looks photoshopped in real life. It's the craziest thing. She's so talented. I have to throw a big disclaimer. Like, ugh, I really don't want to do this, but I have to throw a disclaimer out there because I did review a collaboration that Nikki Tutorials did in the past and I got more heat on that video than I think I've ever gotten in any video ever. And that was her collaboration with Too Faced. And a lot of people were like, "Hey, you're sucking up to Nikki. And I just, I want to say no, no, I'm not. Um, I love supporting people in this business that I think are down to earth, talented, and that inspire me. And the thing that stands out to me about someone like Nikki is that she has such enormous success, but she still has such good, genuine heart and just, an element of kindness about her that you feel. She does not give you the standoffish vibe whatsoever. I love her, I love her channel, and um, I've been following her for a really long time. Okay, the second thing that I wanna throw out is a lot of people were really disappointed in that palette, and I totally understand. I really feel genuinely that there were two different factories that worked on that palette, and that mine may have been better than a lot of other people's. I know that that collaboration from what I've heard kind of through the grapevine. I did not hear this from Nikki, but I don't think it was the greatest collaboration. I think there were some shady things going on and I myself have decided that I'm not putting Too Faced products on my channel anymore. I don't think the company has great ethics. I don't really care for the vibe and what they stand for. And I think their company actually is very two-faced and I've never come on and said anything negative like that about a brand, but this is the first time that I'm doing it. You guys know I keep it real and I'm never gonna give you a false review, but I felt like that palette for whatever reason just put me in such a bad space. I was still really happy to support a fellow YouTuber that I respect and love and I did enjoy the palette, but it was like a whole big thing. So. I'm not gonna make like a rant video as to why I don't like the brand anymore, but there have just been too many things that have happened and too many experiences that I have personally had to feel like I wanna support them anymore. So yeah, me and Too Faced were broken up. Uh, you won't see them on my channel anymore in the future. I wanna talk about this collection. So this is a really exciting collaboration to me because I already know the formula and love the formula. That is like step one. The second thing is, oh my God, the colors are insane. You guys, I am wearing this little pinwheel of colors. I am wearing all three of them on my eyes right now. It was the easiest eye look ever. I feel like I'm gonna be traveling with this. This copper shade up top is so pigmented and just so buttery and easy to work with. It literally does all the work for you. It just glides right on. I used a MAC 242 today and it was literally the easiest thing. You just like grab a nice little swipe of the product and it is insane. I mean, it is the most beautiful copper shade. It is so flattering and I can imagine on deeper skin tones, this is gonna work excellent as a highlighter as well. So there was a lot of thought put into this whole color setup and I really, really love that. So let me give you a closer look of what is on my eyes. I went all over with the copper shade on my lid. I took a little bit of the icy shade right here underneath the brow bone and bam, that just did the trick in two seconds. Really, really pretty and not overly 
chalky or powdery either. It just glided right on. The champagne shade I put on the inner corner and then I patted on the center of my eyelid and that is it. It is the easiest look. I really feel comfortable in this. I feel like these shades are very flattering. They are metallic without being chunky. The list goes on and on and on. I also wanna give you a side-by-side -side of the champagne shade that's in here next to Max O Darling. They are not spot on, but they are very, very similar. So if you were looking to get that highlighter, which was very, very popular for a while, they just re-released it. It's this guy right here. It's very similar, but I actually like that there is more of a metallic smoothness and kick in the Nikki tutorials guy right here, plus you get those other two colors mixed in. Now the third thing you can do is take a highlighting brush and mix all three shades together. And you notice it doesn't dirty up the palette at all, but it's gonna give you this custom shade that is just absolutely stunning and is going to look beautiful as a highlighter. I'm already wearing a crap ton of highlighter because I was way carried away with these products while getting ready, but let's just throw a little more on so that you guys can see. I mean, it's just insanity. It's such a pretty, pretty highlighter. If you have texture on the skin, it will pick up textures a little bit because it is a more blinding in your face highlight. It's not subtle, so I do wanna share that with you. Um, it's not for the timid. This is going to be a highlight that looks like highlight and shows up, but I feel like it looks very, very pretty on the skin and it blends in nicely. It wears for a really long time. There's nothing chalky or gritty about it. So. This right here is such an awesome item. I know the set itself was $79.99 for the whole big thing. Now, individually, I'm not sure what the prices break down to, and I don't have a discount code with Ofra, so I'm actually gonna put Nikki's discount code so that you guys can save money if you do wanna purchase this item. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting anything from this, um, but her discount code is just Nikki. So that will be in the description box below. And now let's look at the liquid lipsticks. I I am wearing the shade Nude Potion, which makes you look 10 times more tan than you actually are. Like it is the sexiest shade ever. I'm wearing it right now. I put a little bit of a Lancome gloss on top. The Gloss of Love number 200 is a really great gloss to put on top of any liquid lipsticks because it's not goopy, but it gives just a little bit of shine and it doesn't wipe away any of the liquid lipsticks. So I am wearing those two right now, but I did of course try these two guys on for you guys and I filmed it. I don't know that they are really my colors, but I do think that they are beautiful colors. The formula is great and I will show you the shade Spell, which is really different. It has kind of an iridescent purple or blue going on in it with this kind of bright coral vibe. And then we have this bronzy shade called Coven. I love this kind of shade on other people, but for me in my day-to-day -day life, I just feel a little bit too much in it. It's just not for me. It's something that I would like admire from afar. So I really like that they are going to be piecing apart this collection where you can really purchase the items that you would want. So for me, it would be these two right here. I think they are so, so stunning. I am going to be wearing these a lot. So I do have two of these right here, which means I am going to be doing a little giveaway and I thought that I would just do one over on Instagram. The last giveaway I did was on Snap. So I'm trying to, you know, bring every different platform a little something. So I'm gonna take a picture of this guy, repost it and use the hashtag Tati giveaway. I'll put all the details in the description box below. And that is how you can enter and it will be international. So you guys can all enter over at Glam Life Guru on Instagram. Once again, that was at Glam Life Guru on Instagram. If you were on the fence about this collection at all, I hope that I kind of just like shoved you over to the other side because this is a worthwhile collaboration. Everything here is stunning. So there we have it. This is completely Tati approved. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.